Hello, thank you for joining me once again on Obesive Academy. On today's video tutorial, I shall be showing you how to analyze one sample t-test using SPSS. Okay, essentially how to analyze and interpret one sample t-test using SPSS. Now, what does one sample t-test mean? The one sample t-test is used to compare the sample mean with the given population mean of a given value. It is used to determine whether a sample comes from a population with a specific mean. It is also used to determine whether the sample is generated from a specific mean. The data or variable should be measured at interval or ratio level, that is, it has to be continuous. The non-parametric alternative of one sample t-test is one sample Wisconsin sign ranked test. Now, what are the assumptions of one sample t-test? The first on the list here is that the sample should be, ran should be collected randomly. The population should be normally distributed. The selection of observations should be independent. The variance of the population should be unknown. The data must be in an interval or ratio scale, that is, it has to be a continuous variable. Supposing we have this example here to be tested using one sample t-test. A researcher claims that the life expectancy of males in Nigeria is higher than the national average of 55.6 years. A sample of 10 males life expectancy gathered through survey were 53 53.4, 59.3, 51.6, 50.2, 51.8, 56.7, 52.3, 57.9, 50.8, and 54.5 years. What do we actually need? To test this, collect the sample of males life expectancy and compare the mean of males, that is the sample mean, with a national average population mean of 55.6 years. That is, you will use the population mean of 55.6 years and compare it with the generated mean. Suppose we have this hypothesis generated from that particular question we highlighted earlier. The average life expectancy of males in Nigeria is not significantly different from the national average of 55.6 years. What does it do? The one sample t test will tell you whether there is a statistically significant difference in a sample mean and the population mean. Okay, so with this brief introduction, we'll go straight to SPSS to show you how to analyze a one sample t test. Okay. Now, coming down to our SPSS page, you'll have the serial number of males used. They will have the sample of males' life expectancy generated from survey as captured here. So for us to conduct a one sample t test, what we need to do is to click analyze. Okay, go to compare means, then click one sample t test. Okay, then highlight this male life expectancy and move it under this text variable box here. Okay, click this arrow to move it under text variable box here. Then click options. Then we have our confidence interval percentage, which is my 5% confidence interval, or which is also known as 5% level of significant. So we're using this as default. We'll click continue. Then under test value here, you put your population mean. What is our population mean? The population mean here is 55.6. So what we're going to type into this box here is under this text value here is 55.6. So you delete this and type 55.6. Then simply click OK. Now once you click OK, this result appears. The first table here is the discrete statistics. The A here simply shows the total number of observations. The mean here is the mean of the sampled observation. That is the mean of the sample observations. We have the standard deviation, which is 3.1472. We have the standard error, which is 0 0.9952. Then the second table here, we have the one sample t-test. This particular one sample t-test here, we have the t-value as minus 1.758. We we'll have our degree of freedom, which is n minus 1, that's total number of observations minus 1, which is 9. Then we'll have our p-value. The p-value here is 0 0.113, as you can see here, 0 0.113. We'll have the mean difference. The mean difference simply means the difference between the sampled mean and the population mean. So if you subtract 53.850 minus 55.6, you have minus 1.75. That is... Uh, the sample mean minus population mean gives us this particular mean difference here, which is minus 1.750, as you can see here. So I've actually moved these particular two tables here to my PowerPoint for easy explanations. 
Okay. Now coming out of our PowerPoint here, we have the table we captured earlier. As you can see here, this is the discrete statistics and the one sample t test result. As you can see. Okay, this is the p value which is generated as 0 0.113 and we have our t value minus 1.758. Now, the p-value of 0 0.113 found to be greater than 0 0.05 using 5% level of significance shows that we failed to reject the null hypothesis. That is, the life expectancy of males in Nigeria is not significantly higher than the national average. In conclusion, here we have there is no statistically significant difference between males' life expectancy and the national average life expectancy in Nigeria. Or, the average life expectancy of males in Nigeria is not significantly different from 55.6 years. Okay, so what it simply means here is that because since our p-value here is greater than 0 0.05, we accept the null hypothesis. Okay, and that is how we arrive at this particular conclusion we have here. So essentially, this is how to conduct the one sample t test using SPSS. Okay, if this is the first time of coming to our channel to watch our video, kindly click the subscribe button to get more video updates on analysis okay thank you for watching and also thank you for listening